guys, um, I have my December empties to show you because I filled up my red trash can and um, not like so, so much, but it's enough that I want to get rid of this trash. So if you'd like to see my December empties and what's all up in my trash, then just keep okay, watching. So in no particular order, I'm just going to dig into my red trash bin and show you what I got. Um, first things first, at the top here is the Skin Summit uh, Moisturizing Shave Gel. It smells so good. This one is in the Flirty Mango and I love these tropical scents. Um, it's very moisturizing to the skin. Um, I got this when I was like couponing and I got it for cheap but I would not purchase this item at regular price. But I will purchase it again if I could find it at a cheaper price. Um, it was good. Um, the next thing here, I finished up my coconut milk conditioner. In my previous video, I finished the sh No, I didn't. Did I finish? Yeah. In the previous video, I finished the shampoo. Maybe. I don't remember. But anyways, this is just the conditioner. And this is in their special, like, 50% more free size. Um... These run for about $6, but I try to find the ones with the little label so that you can get more money. I mean more money. More product for your money. <laughs> this is by Organics, and um, I really like it. I love the scent. I'll buy it again. It moisturizes my hair, although my hair needs some deep moisturizing right now. But, <laughs> but yeah, it was good. Speaking of moisturizer and mask... I finished up this L'Oreal Total Repair 5 Damage Erasing Balm and I got it for, I don't know, around $6. Everything's like $6. So um, I got it, I forget where, maybe Target, I don't know. Um, but this is a nice moisturizer, It a moisturizer for your hair. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm like loopy. But... This stuff freaking smells so awesome. It smells so good. And I don't um, put this on my hair all the time. I use it like once a week maybe. And it's nice. It's I do feel like it deep conditioned my hair. And I don't know because it says that it repairs up to one year of damage in, in one use. That's a lie. But it is a very good um, hair balm. I will purchase that again. Another shampoo that we used up is this Palmolive Naturals Complete Repair. And this one is in avocado oil and honey extract. Um, this says that it's a shampoo and conditioner. I will still recommend using a conditioner with it because um, a lot of those shampoo and conditioner combination products to me doesn't really condition. So I would, I would repurchase it but I would still use another conditioner. I used, uh, or the family used up uh, two of the Bath and Body, <laughs> Bath and Body Works, um, stuffs, <laughs> gentle foaming hand soaps, yeah, so we used up uh, the Mandarin Blossom from the Italian collection and the Sugar Lemon Fizz, both of them smell yummy, I will forever buy these hand soaps, I love them. They are quick, easy to use, they smell so yummy, and when Bath & Body Works has like their semi-annual sales or 7 for 20 and then use a coupon, you can get these at like 2 or $3, so that's great, and yuck, it's gunky. Ugh. And then the baby, like I said in all my empties videos, the baby used up some wipes, and um... This is, again, the Simply Clean from Huggies, $216 for like $5. So I always buy these packages. I don't buy like the box kind of things because it's like a waste of money because you just buy one box and then fill it up with this stuff and then, yeah, it works. Um, my Yummy Yummy had a cold again, so we used up these travel size boogie wipes, and this is the original scent, um, fresh scent boogie wipes, $1 at the Dollar Tree. You cannot go wrong. There's 10, yeah, there's 10 wipes. It has the saline. It loosens up their boogers, 
um, so that it won't hurt when you're wiping their nose. So I will forever buy those, but I actually have like a freaking stock full of that stuff. And then I used up this Travel Size Refreshing Cucumber Facial Cleansers by Bench Organics. I only paid $1.10. It has 10 wipes. I just finished up my last wipe today. It's moisturizing. It's soft. It's a fairly large size. And I would purchase it again if I was at a bench. But like, I was in Guam when I bought this like six months ago. So it was good. Cheap stuff. I... Finished up this Bath and Body Works Forever Sunshine Triple Moisture Body Cream. <laughs> I've had this for a long time. I know that they like discontinued this stuff for a little bit and then they brought it back. What's the deal? I don't know. Forever Sunshine. It smells like flowers with a ray of sunshine. No, I'm just kidding. It says that it's a blah blah blah. Where's the scent thing, Majiggy? Um, I don't know. Oh, Forever Sunshine, a fresh blend of golden apricot, pink peonies, and a hint of praline that captures the romance of warm days that linger into cool autumn. I guess that's what Forever Sunshine smells like. Um, and I used up three candles, two from Bath and Body Works, and ugh, it's gunky. Two candles, frosted cupcake from the White Barn line, and cider donut. Cider donuts. I want to eat some donuts. Yay! It smells yummy. It has like I do smell the cider. The cider the cider fragrance is is strong. These three wick bath and body works candles like pretty much fills up my whole house and it just smells so good and I love this stuff especially when it's two for 22 and then you tack on an extra coupon you get these suckers for like seven bucks. Um, cider donut smells good. Uh, frosted cupcake I think I do have one backup of this frosted cupcake but with all the food eat um, bakery type scents that I purchased from Bath and Body Works the frosted cupcake doesn't really um, come off as very strong it, it is yummy and I do smell like the sweetness of the cupcake I'm trying to see no that's not the baby sorry guys but um yeah it's just not as strong as most of the Bath and Body Works like bakery type scents but, um, like I said, I have a backup, but after I use that one, I don't think I'd purchase this scent again. Because if you've seen, like, my hauls and stuff, I really like these foodie kind of scents. Um, and I also used up this candle. It's in Birthday Cake. And I actually purchased this candle from my son whenever he was doing, like, a fundraiser. And then they, they sent home those, those catalogs. To buy and there's nothing really cheap this candle is 16 bucks and I bought it at $16 and and I'm not really into spending that much money on anything on candles especially but because it was a fundraiser and it was for the school and everything uh, birthday cake and this sucker like burns really really well like look at it you can see the wick holder thingamajiggy and it burned all the way down like I feel like I'm not wasting anything because like the Bath and Body Works like there's still that much I feel like you're wasting so much with this product but this one you're not like wasting hardly anything so I thought it was it was wonderful and maybe that's why it's $16 <laughs> and it's cute it had it came in a little mason jar and um, I don't know maybe if he does another fundraiser thingy which I know he will I may purchase that scent again I don't know and then I used up this degree ultra clear this is like a travel size deodorant pure satin um I had it in my gym bag and then I just finished it all up and I like it but it says ultra clear it's not clear this sucker will rub on your black clothes it will I don't know but yeah, I'll purchase it again. 
I finished a couple of samples and there's a random bottle cap in here. I bet my six year old threw it in there. So I finished some samples here. I usually put samples in my gym bag so I don't have to carry like a big thing of shampoo and might as well use the, sam the samples. So I use this Nivea, um, what does it say? Touch of Cashmere Cream Oil Body Wash. One time use, feels so good. But do you guys ever get that feeling where after you take a shower and you use like m super moisturizing body washes and there's, it feels like there's still soap on your body? Yeah, I kind of get that feeling with this. And then um, I got this Root Awakening for dry hair from like Ulta, I don't know, sample. Um, Shampoo and conditioner, use that up. Um, it was pretty good. I normally don't like John Frieda type things. I don't know. I just, like, I had no other good experiences with them. But this was good. I think it's it has that funky minty eucalyptus scent. But but it was, it was okay. I don't think I would buy, like, the full size. But it was a good product. And then I've talked about this before. The Clear Sculpt and Hair Therapy. Um, this is actually just the conditioner. Um, it was good. One of these days I'll buy the full size when I get rid of all these samples. So yep, that is it for these empties. And that is what I used up for December. And let me know if you guys used up any of these products and how you feel about it. I enjoy making these videos. And I thank you guys. I thank you all for watching them. So that's it for December empties. Have a good day.